Hi guys, so today I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day. I just wanna start the video here. I'm driving home from the gym, just have some coffee. I don't normally drink coffee that much. I just was kind of in the mood for it today, but I eat paleo, so basically, what that is no like processed things it's everything natural i can't have any grains so like no rice no beans actually beans aren't grains but no wheat none of that so no gluten and stuff i can't have dairy and i can't have sugar obviously i can have like natural sugars like fruit or stevia i can't have like processed sugar i can also have coconut sugar so that helps with like baking and stuff i don't really eat anything else i don't have cheat meals or anything i just eat paleo but I've been doing it for a couple months now and I've found a lot of really good paleo recipes you know you get cravings and you start wanting stuff that you can't have so I have found a lot of really good paleo foods that I thought I would just show you guys because eating healthy has really like improved my whole self like I'm in a happier mood more often when I'm healthy have more energy when I'm eating healthy so I just thought I would show you guys what I eat in a day I usually work out in the morning but sometimes before I go work out I eat like a banana or something if I'm hungry but I didn't this morning but yeah so for breakfast, I'm just gonna be making this pumpkin smoothie. Um, this is actually the first time that I've ever made it. I'm just gonna be taking one tablespoon of pumpkin puree and putting it in the little cup. And then I'm just gonna put some milk in it. No specific amount, I just fill it up about that much. And then I'm going to take two dates that are already pitted so I don't have to take the seeds out of them. After the dates are added in, I'm going to add in some pumpkin pie spice protein powder. So I'm just doing about three-fourths of a scoop. And this is bone broth protein, so it's really good for you, and this pumpkin one tastes so good. After that, I'm just going to put the lid on. I'm just going to blend it until it's all done, and then it'll be good. I'm going to pour it in a glass or taste it first. <laughs> So for lunch, I'm going to be making a salad. So today, Josie will be making... What's up guys? Today, Josie is going to be making a salad. Alright, that's <laughs> so cheesy. Okay, so in order to make this salad, what we're going to do... I'll link the recipe down below so that you guys can um, make it if you want. But we're just going to do four ounces of salami, like, cut up. It's uh, the hard salami, so it's like... Hard to cut. I'm not a chef at all, so I don't know why this is like a reoccurring thing for my channel. I chopped up all the salami and put it in here and then chopped up one part of romaine lettuce and put it in here, so I'm just gonna do the other one. And I'm cutting it this way so that you have small bites instead of big chunks of lettuce, but I mean, you can really just do whatever you prefer. And then I have half a cup of a mix of black olives and green olives, so I'm gonna add that in there too. So then I take a whole pack of prosciutto, and I just get this Trader Joe's kind. Just take little pieces and put it in here. So now I'm gonna start making the dressing because I have all the salad components. So I'm just making this Italian dressing. What I'm doing is I'm taking a tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley. One teaspoon of dried oregano. Is this where it is? <laughs> you look. I don't know. I don't, is this not where it is? Organic oregano? One teaspoon of oregano. I can't get it. Ow! That just like, cut me. That was my nail. That bent, not the lid. 
one clove of garlic. And we're gonna get one little garlic clove. Now that we have the garlic, then we do a half teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna get the salt, we're gonna do a half teaspoon of it. We're gonna do a fourth teaspoon of fresh cracked black pepper, okay? Fourth cup of red wine vinegar. Three fourths cup of extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to mix it all up. I'm gonna mix the salad together. I'm not gonna put the dressing on because if I wanna save any of it for another time, then putting the dressing on is gonna make it really soggy. I'm just gonna add the dressing to my serving of the salad and then I'll just keep the dressing. Now that the salad's made, I'm going to eat it. Okay, so in my like actual kitchen area, I'm just sitting at the dining table right now, in the kitchen area, the lighting is just horrible. So I'm sitting here because my dinner isn't gonna be very involved. Usually my mom makes dinner for all of us, but my parents are out of the dinner tonight, so I'm just having some leftover kettle-cooked chicken soup. This is just from Trader Joe's, and it's good, and it's healthy. So I'm just gonna heat this up and eat it, and then I'm gonna make healthy molasses cookies, and these we made last night for the first time, and they are so good. They don't taste exactly like molasses cookies, but they do taste really good, and I felt like I was eating something unhealthy, which is always good. So I'm gonna be making those because I really want them. So we're gonna do that. My soup has been made, and I didn't realize how little there was in there, but it's fine, I don't have that big of an appetite anyway. But let's just chat while I eat my soup. Mmm, I hate it to a perfect temperature. I shouldn't talk while I eat, like that's kind of gross. But it's been a good day. I've eaten some pretty good stuff. This video is actually making me more responsible with my meals because normally I just kind of find whatever I can around the house that's healthy. But today I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put together meals. I'm just gonna do the best I can. But normally it's like some... So we've lost daylight and I'm using my flashlight as a light so that you can even see my face. It's probably so bad though. We still have cookies to make and I cannot use the kitchen light because it's just look like a raccoon because of the shadows that it puts on my face. So we're not gonna use that and we're not gonna do this. So I don't know what we're going to do. We'll figure it out. Okay, so since the kitchen lights aren't working, I'm just going to do a little time lapse of me making the cookies. So that's what you're gonna be seeing next. So I'm finished making the cookies. Here they are. I actually cooked them a little bit different than we did last night. Last night we did it like exactly like the recipe and they actually turned out better this time. So what I did instead was I left it in for around 15 minutes instead of eight to 10. And they are a little bit more dry than yesterday, but yesterday they were like almost still doughy, but now they're more like solid. And it said it made like 15 cookies but i grouped it all together and ended up making nine and they definitely rose a lot more and the ones last night flattened out like almost completely like they were just like super thin flat cookies whereas these are like actual like they're pretty thick they're super good and i'll have the recipe linked below but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you next week